years we have been witness to so many divine leelas divine leelas are god's ways of instilling faith and devotion in the hearts of the devotees i said you are very fortunate today because for a very very long time you are not going to see lingot bhavam again and therefore those who somehow came here and been seeing for last few years and today who are here are truly very fortunate because for a long time we may not see this phenomenon again this is what i feel from inside not that i wish it not that i don't not that i don't want it whatever the divine decides it should happen some years ago when bhagwan called me and told open your mouth and he opened my mouth and he put some kind of a ball of light into my mouth 
and so swallow it, swallow it. I did not know how to swallow a ball of light. It was only glowing, but I followed the instruction, I swallowed it. Since then, 12 lingams have come out at different points in time. Three are here and many of them have been placed in different parts of the world. And they will continue to be there and energize and create faith and devotion in the hearts of the devotees who would be visiting and seeing them in different ashrams. As I said again, it's divine which chooses what to do, when to do, how to do, where to do, with whom to do, in what way to do. There is little that I and you have any control on. And therefore we must simply submit and surrender to the divine will at all times. When it says it should be, then it should be. When it says it should not be, it should not be too. But, I, but we have to always be ready and surrender to that ultimate divine will. That is what we have to learn from every festival that we celebrate. Let it be the divinity that should flow through us. Not I and mine, not my will, but thy will. With that feeling, we must lead our lives. As I said a few years back, when it started, I had no control over it. And today I know from within that probably this is one of the last times you will be seeing such a thing. There is nothing to be sad about it, nothing to be happy about anything. It is just the every day that sun rises. When I look at that rising sun, I think of it as a Hiranyagarbalingam, rising again. Every day, living for everybody. And Shiva, this is the night of Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva, as I mentioned, is only there to do good to others. When Hala Hala came, nobody turned up to take it. Only Lord Shiva. When Amrutam came, Devas and Asuras fought over it to have it. But when Hala Hala came, all ran away. There is so much of Hala Hala in within and without it, all of us. And that is the Shiva. That is that Lord Shiva who is willing to accept all the negativity and give us Amrutam in return. Takes all the poison, all the difficulties, all the pain and suffering, born out of wrong identities and gives us the real identity that you are none other than divine and that's how he removes our suffering. Jiva Seva is Shiva Seva, I always say. The only way to realize divinity is to do good. As Lord Shiva did good to all, let us do good day and night. In that goodness we will find our divinity, we will find our Godhood. So to all of you once again on this Mahasivaratri, how the next year will be, where we will be, what will happen, nobody knows. Whatever is that Lord's will. And these are very great times. The whole world is undergoing a tremendous change. It is a phenomenal time in the history of humanity. Everybody will rise. And this dharma, Hindu dharma, Sanatana dharma will spread to every corner of the world. Everybody in the world will have no other way. Nanya pantha ayana evidyate. They will have to follow this path of our dharma and through that they all will have to attain divinity. There is no choice. Kale natmani vindati. All have to attain. You can choose not build, to build a house or not to build a house to study this subject or that subject but you cannot choose not to be divine. Your ultimate destiny is that. Your fate is that. But how soon? It depends on our effort. So let us put efforts to do more good, more selflessness, more love for everyone, in that only we will find God. In Kali Yuga, this is the easiest seva on one side, Smarana on the other side. This is the safest, surest and easiest path, shortest path to Shiva. So may this Shivaratri bring more auspiciousness, may it inspire one and all and through your lives many more get inspired. This, and we live in that Shiva Bhava all the time, day and night, at all times. That is how we must lead our lives, is my wish. And I want to see this materialize here and now, not in another yuga, another time. It should be our present, it should be our present in which all this should happen. And all of you have a responsibility to carry this message, to take this idea of divinity to the whole world. Much lies on your shoulders, especially the younger generation. You have all the time on your side. 
Kalaya Namaha. Time is God. At that time is with you. You are young. You can do so much more for the world. So there is a lot of poison floating around. Somebody has to drink it all and, let, and distribute Amrutam to everyone. That Shiva's work is what we are here to do. Let this Mahashivratri bring more inspiration to continue on this path. May more Jivas be helped through this love of Shiva. May every Jiva realize that it is Shiva. And with that feeling, the whole world let it be embraced and enveloped in this divine feeling with these blessings. I will, I will come in the morning again. So you continue your evening sadhana and children especially. Stay awake. Uttishtata Prapya Rani Bodhata. Be awake because it is important, not just awake but awakened. Hmm? It's very important. On this night, you must sacrifice your sleep. That is one way to transcend your bodily desires. That is one way to check how strong is your determination and resolve to rise above this body and mind feeling, the feeling of pleasure and comfort. Decide and des do that. But it should not end with just doing bhajan and having prasadam and going back to sleep. It should continue to keep us awakened, Jagrata, at all times, at all places. Let the body-mind work, let the Atman as the background on which all this happens be always there in our attention. That is how we must work. Many blessings. <laughs>